What are we looking at right now? This is beautiful. Yeah, so we arrived to the St. Peter's Church. Now, this place has been visited throughout the past 1500 years by pilgrims that came here to walk the footsteps of Christ. And still in 2019, people come with the same intention. We've been in the room of the Last Supper, ending with the prayer in Gethsemane, and Jesus was brought by the Romans to the house of Caiaphas. By the way, this Caiaphas mentioned in the gospel is the high priest of the Jews. Now, Jesus comes to the house of Caiaphas. And for many years, especially the Catholic Church used to persecute the Jews for being responsible of crucifying Christ. Now, what happened here in the house of Caiaphas is most likely to be the other way around. In fact, recent research shows that Caiaphas did not have the authority at that time to to judge Jesus or to have any responsible whatsoever to his crucifixion. Furthermore, with careful study of the words of the gospel itself, we understand that Caiaphas tried to persuade Christ to regret flipping the, the stalls of the money changers and in order for the Romans to have mercy and spare his life. Now, how do we know that from the verse of the gospel? is that Caiaphas tries to persuade Christ and eventually when he, he understands he can't because Christ had his own plan to this, to this night and day to be crucified, to have his body uh, sacrificed on the cross to Jerusalem to redeem humanity from Adam's sin, Christ himself eventually does not regret his actions and what Caiaphas does in the English version of the gospel is tears his, his clothes. Now in the original Hebrew version to tear likoa is something you do when you mourn someone's death and Caiaphas in fact was so sorry he cannot persuade Christ from regretting his action because the Romans from time to time if a, a crucifix used to be convicted and he regret his, his action, he was spared. And that's what Caiaphas tried to do, a, probably in a place like this. Now this specifically is an ancient place. We can't necessarily point out to the time of Christ and connect it to the house of the high priest, but pilgrims have been coming here to this path continually to mark this as the place where Jesus met Caiaphas the high priest. The evidence that points out that this could be a house of a priest or a person of high authority are the ritual baths they found here. We know that priests constantly had to purify because they used to work in the Jewish temple. We're here in, in the path Christ used a couple of times during that night and the last day of his life, what we see here are ancient steps. And most likely this is the path Christ has walked through from the room of the Last Supper to Gethsemane. From Gethsemane where he was taken to here where he met Caiaphas and from here to the place he was judged by Pontius Pilate, the Roman governor where the, the Jaffa Gate is today, modern day Jaffa Gate, and eventually to the place he was crucified and resurrected. All right, so we're finished up here at St. Peter's Church, which is probably Caiaphas House, and where are we off to next? So we're gonna follow the original path of Christ to the place where he was judged. Unfortunately, we would not include that in this episode. Right. And continue directly in his footsteps to the place of the crucifixion and resurrection, which is today's Church of the Holy Sepulchre in the Old City of Jerusalem. Let's go.